Hey guys, my name is Em and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new and welcome back to the start of a brand new reading vlog. I am really excited about today's video because this week I am going to be trying to read 200 pages a day for a whole week. I don't know if this is going to be possible. I don't usually tend to read 200 pages a day. So this is going to be fun. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be exciting. But I feel like it could be possible because I am excited about the books that I'm reading and I feel like that makes such a difference when it comes to like actually wanting to read. So I am excited for this vlog. I have high hopes. I believe in myself and I'm very excited to take you guys with me as I try to do this 200 pages a day challenge. So today is Monday. It is the first day of this reading challenge and I have actually already read a a good bit towards my 200 pages of the day and I've actually already finished a book which is kind of crazy so I'm very excited to tell you about that and give you my first reading update. But yeah basically today's Monday my friend Sarah from Saz Books spent the weekend with me which you will see in my previous weekly reading vlog. We had such a great time we read a lot together and then last night I was like you know what I want to do a reading challenge this week. I want to do a reading vlog but like a challenging one not just like a regular weekly reading vlog and we actually decided on a different reading challenge. The reading challenge that we decided on was to wake up at 6 a.m. to read for an entire week and that was the vlog that I was going to do. This is kind of like a little behind the scenes for you guys but basically that's the vlog that I was going to do this week and we did set our alarms for 6 a.m. We had such good intentions and then we slept through the alarms and then that reading vlog idea has been parked for another time where I'm feeling slightly more motivated to wake up at 6 a.m. for a week. But I did still want to do like some sort of reading challenge for this week. So then I decided on the reading 200 pages for a week challenge. And already today, I have finished a book. Me and Sarah both read this morning for a good amount of time. And I finished the book that I was currently reading, which was Saving Six by Chloe Walsh. This is the third book in the Boys of Tommen series. My heart just breaks for these characters, for this book, for this world. I've actually never felt a connection like I felt with this series like I truly truly haven't and I know that I've spoken about this book and the series so much and there's not really a huge amount that I can say because I don't want to spoil anything but if you are thinking about picking up this book please please do I mean start with Binding 13 because it's the third book in the series but just pick it up just read this series obviously do look up trigger warnings but yeah I finished this book this morning my love for Joey and Aoife is so so strong they just deserve the world and Joey Joey Lynch deserves some award or something like he's just he's been through so much and my heart like physically breaks for him and the amount that he's had to deal with and the amount that he's had to put up with like I just I can't even but I'm not gonna get into that right now I'm not gonna start talking about my love for this book because I could genuinely go on forever just know that I rated this book five out of five stars I am so in love with this book with this series with this world I started out on page 514 this morning and there is 614 pages in this book so so far today I've read exactly 100 pages so I'm halfway through my reading goal of the day and I already have a book finished which I feel like is fairly slay for the first day of this reading vlog however because I loved this book so much I don't really know what book I want to pick up next like do I want to continue with Redeeming Six which is the fourth and final published book in this series so far or do I want to read something else do I want to read a fantasy do I want to read another romance I don't really know what vibe I'm feeling because I'm still thinking about Saving Six so I haven't read for a couple of hours because I was kind of like didn't really know what book I wanted to move on to I was still thinking about Saving Six and then I was chatting to Sarah and she recommended me a book on Kindle Unlimited and even better it is a novella so I should be able to read it all tonight and that book was The Exception to the Rule by Christina Lauren. She read this book recently. She said it was quite good. And this book is also a novella, which is so perfect because I kind of want to read something that's going to like cleanse my palate a little bit and like refresh my brain after reading like a 600 plus page very intense emotionally draining book and what's like so so perfect about this book is that it's exactly 100 pages like I've literally read exactly 100 pages of Saving Six and then this book is exactly 100 pages which means if I read this entire book today I've completed my 200 page book goal for day one which is so slay so I think I'm literally going to start this book right now I'm really excited to read it don't know what it's about will update you as I go but I have no clue what this book is about only that it's a 100 page novella I'm assuming it's a romance it's by Christina Lauren but for right now I am going to sit on my couch put on an ASMR room and read The Exception to the Rule by Christina Lauren and I'm very excited so yeah I'm gonna go and I'll come back to you later when I have more reading updates
besties it is now tuesday and i want to give you a reading update so yesterday i did end up achieving the 200 page goal which was so so slay because i obviously read the last 100 pages of saving six and then i also picked up the christina lauren novella last night and i read that entire thing so quickly like literally i've never flown through a book quite so quick and that book was exactly 100 pages i ended up loving that book guys i feel like it's kind of risky with a novella like because there's not really that much to it to like get attached to characters or like kind of like enjoy it or whatever but like oh my god like this one was so good like i really really enjoyed it basically the premise of this book was that we had these two characters and the guy accidentally sent an email to her but he meant to send it to his professor but there was like one letter different in the email address or something so it was like because of a typo that they started communicating and that was on valentine's day and then they like started emailing every single valentine's day for like 10 years and then like they finally obviously met and there was like a little romance and it was so cute like i genuinely loved that book so much and it didn't feel like a short story like it didn't feel rushed but also at the same time i flew through it because literally the first half of the book is told in like email format so like you're literally just reading like 50 pages of emails which sounds really boring but it it honestly is not it was so good i ended up rating it a four star and then of course that does mean that i hit my 200 page goal for yesterday which i'm so happy about and now i'm about to start reading for today and hopefully i will also hit the 200 page goal that novella was actually the first like short story in a series of six so i think maybe throughout this week or maybe just like this month in general i might try and read the rest of that series because I actually really enjoyed it and the second one is by Abby Jimenez and I love Abby Jimenez so I definitely want to read that one potentially today we'll see I'm not really sure but then this morning I'm kind of like deciding on which book I want to read because I, I don't know what I want to read and I feel like when I don't know what I want to read I end up reading nothing which is obviously very counterproductive for this challenge so I definitely want to read something so the books that I'm between are Powerless by Lauren Roberts I actually DNF'd this book in September. I made it to page 200 and I just completely stopped reading it because I didn't like it. But for some reason, I wanted to continue it and I want to finish it. Like, I don't really know why. I think the sequel comes out soon and I have a feeling that, like, the sequel is going to be better than this one. I don't know why I want to finish this book when I DNF'd it, but I kind of do. Like, I want to get the hype that everyone else got. So yeah, I kind of want to read this one. Also, I'm in a fantasy mood, so I kind of want to, like, pick one that I can, like, easily get through. And, like, I'm already 200 pages into this one, so maybe that's a good shout. I don't know. But then the other book that I want to read is One Dark Window by Rachel Gilles. Gillig. I've heard so many good things about this book and I really want to read it at some stage but I think that this is like kind of a horror fantasy like a scary fantasy or like a dark fantasy at least I don't know I did also start this and read like the first 50 pages but I remember literally nothing so I do think I'm just gonna start it from the beginning again because I literally remember nothing so I kind of want to read this as well and I feel like like it's 400 pages like I could finish this fairly soon like if I read 200 pages today and 200 pages tomorrow I would be finished but the reason that I'm hesitant to pick up either of those two books is because the book that I really really want to pick up is Redeeming Six by Chloe Walsh like I just can't stop thinking about this book and I feel like sometimes like when you have it in your head that you want to read a certain book no other book that you pick up will compare unless you actually pick up the book that you really want to pick up I really want to start this book guys like I really really do but I'm trying to like not read it right now for two reasons one it's 753 pages and like this will literally take up the remainder of this challenge but two like this is the last Joey and Aoife book like I'm never gonna read from their perspective again and that just scares me because like I never want this series to be over and like the fact that Taming Seven is not out for another month is kind of like sad because it's like I won't have another Boys of Tommen book to read if I finish this book if that makes sense but the font on it is tiny like honestly I don't even think that I can read this book physically because of the font so i'll probably read that on my kindle so i might like pick up two books i might like read 100 pages of this and then maybe read like 100 pages of this as well i don't know we'll see i think i'm just gonna like try a chapter of these two books maybe and like see which one i'm vibing with and i also have my coffee here in my new strawberry mug that i got at the weekend i'm literally obsessed with it like it's literally me in a mug i love it so much but yeah i'm gonna finish my coffee read a chapter of each of these books to decide which one i'm gonna stick with and then i'm just gonna get straight into reading and that is my afternoon plan so yeah that is all i have to say for right now i 
I've just gotten up to chapter 5 of One Dark Window which is page 52 so I've read the first 50 pages now and I am actually really liking it. I feel like it's the same with every single fantasy book but like it does take a little bit to get into because you're kind of just like dropped into this world and you suddenly have to learn like the magic systems and the like royalty systems and, and who everybody is and what everything means. So like the first kind of like 100 pages of a fantasy book always do kind of take me a bit longer to get into. Like I don't really like get the full effect of the book until I've passed that point. But I am intrigued. I am liking it. It is like kind of spooky. Like I think that this book is kind of like a horror fantasy or like a gothic fantasy or something like even like from the cover you can kind of tell but I am really liking it and I am kind of intrigued to continue. I think I'm gonna take a quick break right now and edit my video because I have to have it up for tomorrow and I've not finished editing that yet so I think I'm gonna edit a little bit of my video and then read another bit of this book. I'm really glad that I decided to pick this book up because I do feel like I needed to read a book in between Saving and Redeeming Six and then once I finish this one I will be moving on to Redeeming Six because I just need to know what happens to Joey and Aoife but I'm really glad that I decided to pick this book up. I feel like it could be a fairly quick read as well like, and I feel like if I do manage to read like the 200 pages of this today that would slay like that would be fun. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna edit and I'll come back to you later. Hi besties okay it is Thursday night right now and I want to give you a little update from the past two days because I literally don't think I've updated you on Wednesday or Tuesday. So let me give you those updates right now. So on Tuesday I did manage to successfully reach my 200 pages. Well if we're gonna be really really technical I read 190 pages on Tuesday. For like full transparency and full honesty I read 190 pages. I'm still counting that as a win because I feel like that's very very close to 200 pages so like that's a win in my eyes but on the Tuesday I ended up reading to chapter 16 of One Dark Window which was page 169. I was reading that before bed and this book is kind of spooky so I got kind of scared so I ended up picking up a different and more light-hearted book to read like just before I went to bed because I didn't want to be like dreaming of this book basically. So I ended up picking up the second book in that like novella short story meet cute series that I read at the beginning of this week and the second one is by Abby Jimenez. I actually can't remember if I've told you this already or not. I don't know. But I ended up picking it up. I think it's called like the worst wingman ever. The worst something I don't know something like that and I read the first 20 pages of that so in total I read 190 pages so that was Tuesday and that was definitely a success and then yesterday I had a busier day like I had a lot on and I wasn't actually home for a lot of the day however I did manage to finish One Dark Window which did bring me up to the 200 page mark actually probably brought me up above the 200 page mark I did not yet do the maths yeah, okay, okay, so yesterday I read 223 pages, so that actually kind of cancels out Tuesday, because then I've read, like, over the 200 pages. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm using my words correctly, but yes basically yesterday I did finish this book so I read 223 pages of it I don't really know how I feel about this book I'm gonna be completely honest like I did like it and it was good but I feel like I expected a lot more from it given the hype that this book has and like the amazing reviews that this book has I actually think it was a bit boring and I didn't really like the way that it was written I didn't really like the writing style to be honest and also like it was really scary like it was a really really scary book and I didn't I I hadn't really planned for that. I hadn't really wanted that in a fantasy book to be quite honest. So I wasn't the biggest lover of that but it was okay. I think I ended up giving it a three star on Goodreads but in reality I would probably give it like maybe a 3.5. I don't know. I think maybe I'd give it a 3.5. Not sure but yeah like overall like it wasn't it wasn't amazing. I liked some aspects of it but I found like ultimately a lot of it was actually quite hard to understand and quite hard to grasp. They spoke in like riddles and like it was it was literally I read like a Goodreads review that said like literally this feels like I'm reading like a modern day Dr. Seuss and I feel like that's so real and then today I have not read anything. I've not read a single page because I was in work all day and then when I got home from work I was like oh I'm gonna read for the whole evening and then my dad texts me saying do you want to go to a table quiz and I was like absolutely I do so like the whole fam just went out and then we got chips on the way home and now it's literally after midnight and I've just gotten home and I've not read a single thing. I may read a little bit before bed. I'm gonna shower and get into my pajamas and then read a little bit but I've not achieved my goal for today which is okay because I had a really good day. But yeah, that is my update for right now and I'll come back to you later.
I have finished two books since I spoke to you last and I want to give you my little update on the past two days because I did not update you in a while basically. So on Thursday and Friday I read a whopping zero pages. I read nothing. I did not read a single thing. I had such good intentions. I believed in myself. However, I did not succeed. I don't know. I just haven't mastered the ability to read on days that I work, let alone 200 pages. So solid, love that for me. So yeah, Thursday and Friday read absolutely nothing. Definitely did not succeed reading my 200 pages a day, but honestly that's okay. But anyways, today is Saturday and I did manage to finish two books today. That being said, I have not achieved my 200 page goal yet because the two books that I finished were novellas. So I did end up reading the second and third book in the, I think the series is called The Improbable Meet Cute series or something. This series is so cute, like genuinely, okay, clues in the name but like genuinely this series is so good like I would highly recommend like sometimes I feel like with novellas and short stories they're not actually good or they're not actually enjoyable because like you don't really get much out of them but like you're just like you read them to like take another book off the Goodreads goal at least that's my past experience with novellas and like poetry books and graphic novels and things like that that's why I kind of stopped reading those like shorter books because I didn't actually really enjoy them I was just reading them to like read more books and that's something that I've kind of actively stopped doing or tried to at least. However that being said I'm not averse to a novella that's actually good and this series is genuinely so enjoyable like I'm I'm actually obsessed and I'm sure as shit gonna finish the like fourth fifth and sixth like absolutely no questions asked I'm gonna read them. So I finished the second book this morning which is called Worst Wingman Ever by Abby Jimenez. I gave that one four stars. I think it was so good. It was beautiful. It was stunning. It was amazing. I literally love it so much. Then I read the third one literally just there now and it was called Rosie and the Dreamboat by Sally Thorne. This one I liked a slight little bit less. Still really enjoyed it. Still really did like it. Like genuinely it was good and I enjoyed my time but there was like a few instances where I was like oh this is actually kind of cringe or like the characters are just being a little bit like pick me energy and I really don't like that so I gave this one a three star like overall like I still did really like it don't get me wrong and I think it was such a fun read um and also they seem to be like getting shorter with every book because the first one was 100 pages the second one was 60 pages and then the third one was 40 pages but yeah so so far today I've read 80 pages because I was already 20 pages into the second book so yeah I read 80 pages so far today but I finished two books which I would say slays a lot it is like 9 30 right now and I have like 120 pages left to read to achieve my goal. I don't know if I'm going to achieve that because I don't know what book to pick up and I don't want to like just read for the sake of reading because I feel like I've read more this week than I've read any other week in like the last like two years and I don't want to like burn myself out with reading and I know that's not the challenge but like also the challenge is not to like fall into a reading sub either like that's definitely not the vibe so I think I might wait until tomorrow to start another book maybe I don't know maybe I'll just give myself a little break and see but also I may pick up another book I really don't know I just don't know what book I want to pick up I might like go find some options bring them back to you and then we'll decide together except when you're watching this I will have already decided and probably already read the book so that's of little help but I'll still bring you through my process also Update on the Stanley Cup, which you will have seen me haul in my last reading vlog. I'm freaking obsessed. Like, I'm literally obsessed. Ever since I've gotten this cup, I've drank so much water. Like, it's insane. I don't know how, like, a nice cup can make me want to drink more water. Or, like, make it taste nicer. Like, explain this. America, explain. Also, the fact that it's pink, my t-shirt's pink, everything. Like, it, it was made for me, basically. But yeah, I'm gonna hydrate. I might watch something, I might watch a booktube video, that might get me in the mood to read. Also, I did actually order a book today, I ordered Two Twisted Crowns, which is a sequel to One Dark Window because as much as I kind of like shit on that book, I do want to know how it ends. And what I always do, whoa, this lighting has just changed so drastically and I actively hate it, but also... <laughs> We're just gonna go with it guys. Improvise, adapt, overcome. What I always do is like read the first book in a series, specifically fantasy series, but honestly I kind of do it with all series. I'll read the first book and I'll be like so obsessed and then I never pick up the following books in the series. Like I'm just like, I read the first one and then I never see how it ends. It frustrates me. And like I think back to like certain series that I've loved, like Indigo Ridge, loved that book, five stars. Have I continued the series? No. These Hollow Vows, loved the first one, literally new favorite fantasy book of 2022. Did I continue on with the second? Absolutely I did not. Like there's so many series that I start and then I don't continue with them 
Like I'm I'm horrendous at finishing series. I feel like the only series that I've actually finished have been like Throne of Glass and Akatar. If that's true, that's actually a crime. But I think it could be. Like I'm sure there's like one or two other series out there that I have finished. Or like A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. But like I'm struggling to think of more. Like I genuinely think that that's it. Like I, I just start series love them and never continue and i kind of wanted to change that so that's why i ordered the sequel to one dark window because i'm gonna read it and then i'm gonna finish it and then i'm gonna have a duology finished because like i do eventually want to read it so why not read it now while the story is fresh in my head and i remember everything from the first one that makes so much logical sense now watch it arrive on monday and me not read it for literal months that's a strong possibility but i'm gonna try my very best to read it on monday but you'll have to check back in to my next reading vlog to see how that goes but yeah that's kind of all my update for right now maybe i should do a reading vlog where i like finish series that i've started that's actually a good shout i feel like that could be a good video because i'm trying to like do like more themed vlogs as you can tell by like this one is like a read 200 pages a day in a week because i find i read so much more when i'm doing a challenge but also like it can't be like a set tbr challenge because i'm such a mood reader but like any other kind of challenge i love so comment down below any like video ideas or like video challenge or reading vlog ideas or like themed reading vlog ideas reading challenge ideas whatever you can think of comment those down below and i will try to get to them because i'm thoroughly enjoying my weekly vlog era and i'm thoroughly enjoying themed vlog era as well that is my update for right now i may pick up another book i might update you on that if i pick up another book okay i've debated my next read for so long and i've scrolled tiktok for so long as well and i finally decided that it is time to start redeeming six i'm kind of terrified kind of scared but also i really want to read this i literally said to myself i was like i'm gonna read the first page and that's it and then i'll stop but i forgot that like the boys of tom and have me in a literal chokehold so like literally any time that i start this book i just can't stop reading so i'm on like chapter four already i don't know why it's brought me back to the beginning because i literally was on like chapter four but anyways that doesn't matter so i think i'm gonna read a little bit of this i don't think i will read my 200 page goal for today though because i'm kind of tired not gonna lie but i think that's gonna be my next read because then i want to start two twisted crowns when it arrives on monday so i could read like the two of them together because like one's a fantasy one's a romance so that works but yeah i did not achieve my 200 page goal today and considering it's 15 minutes to midnight i think it's safe to say that i won't be but i did finish two books today which is a sleigh and tomorrow i'm gonna try to read early in the morning and get a lot of reading done before work and then we'll circle back because tomorrow is the last day of this challenge so so yeah i'm gonna go to bed right now but i'll talk to you guys tomorrow <laughs>